So I was gonna burn these squash bugs out, but I think instead of doing that right away, I'm gonna go up, take the tractor up, and I'm gonna pull the infected plants out and uh, see what we're left with. It's only a couple squash plants currently, and we're pretty much done making relish, so we don't really need them anymore. So I'm gonna go pull them out and, uh, and then see what's left. If there's a lot of bugs left after that, then we'll go through with the torch or figure out some sort of other method to do that. So Beth's saying the one next to it doesn't even look infected. And what we're worried about is all of our winter squash and pumpkins here. And you can see how infected that plant is. So I think oh, it's, it's literally just this scallop squash plant yeah. right so here. So I think we're going to yank the leaves. whole plant out. Well, look, it's starting to get on those leaves too right there. We need to get them off of there. We need to get all Let's of get these. Let's get this plant out and then We need get... to get all these plants out because I don't think we're... Well, really... the scallop squash we can get rid of, but I just don't want them to get on our pumpkins or the acorn squash. So all these ones yes, that are vining close to the ground. Yep. They seem to like the scallop squash. Well, we'll squash, see what... Though. A lot of times they like to be on the underneath of the plant. So, yeah. yeah. Anyways, Here, right. I'll hand you this if you want to... Yep. I'm gonna have these bugs all over me. That's all right, they're oh, just bugs. Oh my gosh, yuck. Oh my gosh. Keep roots. Okay, here we can both grab yeah, a... That's a part of him. That way maybe we don't drop any bugs on the... He's in our twine, he's there to go. Still, oh, there we go. It's just big. Okay, put them in the tractor. You're gonna have to open that door. Yes. Wonder if the geese will eat it. Oh, uh, we could probably take the scallop squash off. Yeah, of them. I'll have Maddie grab the squash off. Yeah. Let's look at this other one. Even then, if it just like yeah, that one in there that has the dead leaves too. Yeah, yank him out as well. Yeah, these ones. Yeah, yank this one out too, I think. Fucking bugs. <clears throat> it's our first year dealing with I know. them. It was literally our first year ever to have to deal with these things, so. But yeah, well, <laughs> we'll have to see what this looks like when we get this all out of here and see if it's we want to burn this or if we just want to put like because gosh we could probably come up with a that sprayer with some dawn dish soap and just spray the, the rest of the plant of oh okay these are just branches even this one doesn't look like it has any on it but there's squash bugs all over the ground up here Well, uh, there's like too many that I don't even think I could smush them all. Look at all of them. Oh no. See, and they're gonna go right to the next. I need to kill them. There's lots of life in this though. Look at that. Yep. Look at all the bugs. That's oh, yeah, so Yeah, this soil cool. is really nice. But I wonder if we have these squash bugs because of all the compost and stuff we put up here this year. It might be. I don't know. Does anybody know? Uh, the squash bugs, uh, have any connection with that, with compost? I don't know. This squash plant literally entwined itself with my tomato plant. Look at that. Yeah, I know, that's the one that we pulled out the other day. How the day. heck is that even possible? Grab, well, that, grab that tomato. Oh, because I just ripped his vine You just off. ripped it off. Oh, well. I think I want to get my sprayer that Maddie has on the deck and uh, Put some Dawn dish soap and water in it and spray it all over the ground and maybe even cover these plants because I don't think that Dawn dish soap will hurt these leaves. No, I don't think so. I just don't want them to die. I would like to have some. Acorns. Well, yeah, and so I think we need to do something about it now. Yeah, before they're infected. Yeah, so rather than burn them out, I guess we'll put some Dawn dish soap and water on. I might actually go ask Google what's the best choice there, too. So, so that is two 
Squash plants. Scallop squash. Actually, I think they're both scallops. They are. Oh, there is. I threw a, um, a yellow squash plant on top. It's just a small oh, okay. one, though. <clears throat> so there's three plants total there? Yeah. And look, they pretty much fill up the whole front end of my tractor. Those That's scallop insane. squash plants were really big. Yeah. Well, we'll go dump them down by the uh, by the chickens down here. The they should probably eat them. So I was going to dump those down here for the chickens, uh, but I figured it was too close to our raised beds. And I don't want to end up with them crawling into our raised beds and getting into the squash plants and all the stuff down here. So I went ahead and dumped them up the road a little bit. But the chickens can still get up there to them and the geese can get up to them. But they're further, uh, far enough away where hopefully they don't reinfest anything. All right, so Google says to mix uh, about two and a half tablespoons of dish soap to a one gallon weed sprayer of water. So I did that, but <clears throat> also it does say the best, me the best method for it is to grab the squash bugs one by one and drop them in uh, a soapy water solution to drown them. <laughs> but there is way too many up here for me to be up here trying to hand pick up that many squash bugs and put them in a jar to drown them. So I'm gonna try this. If this doesn't work, then we go to fire. I don't even see any right now. Yeah, they're probably all hiding. Well, hopefully they're all on that plant. And maybe there's only a few in here, and if I can find them. Squish them. We drown them. Any? Um, no. Earwig. Hopefully they're like not. I working. don't see any. Actually. I'm just hoping they're not working their way over to these plants. Hey. You. Uh oh. <clears throat> Smoosh him. I did. Is it on beef? Yes. The acorn squash. We probably dropped him. I don't see any. These ones definitely don't have bugs all over them. Let's check all of these plants. At least the ones on the perimeter here. These are the ones that would have it. Oh, see. I really don't see any. They're, they don't have bugs on them at all. They don't have any. They don't even have any bug bite holes. We might have got lucky. We'll okay. see. Well, we'll leave this up here. I sprayed the area where the plants were. So we'll leave this solution up here. And then as we come up every day, I'll just come up here every day. And we'll, if I see them, I'll pluck them off and squish them. Okay. Well, and at least they don't eat it. tomatoes. Right. But we do have some room for your cabbages and stuff. Yeah, once they're ready. Yep. Those probably won't even make it just because we planted them so yeah, late. A lot is too late. But whatever. It's worth a try. That's true, we have all that space right there too. Cool. Could probably put another row of beans right there. I think it's too late. Yeah, probably. We'll see if what we got comes up. Yeah, the tomatoes you tried to murder. So hopefully we got that taken care of by pulling those plants out. Like I said, I put them behind my pump house over there. Just in hopes that we'll get them far enough away from the garden where we don't have to deal with that anymore. Um, the other thing that I've been thinking about a lot is we're growing all this food and we're growing all this produce, uh, but if we don't can it, we have no place to store it over winter because we don't have a roof cell. So I really have been thinking a lot about where I could put one and definitely thinking about building one, but uh, I guess I really just don't know how yet. Um, and I don't know if I'm confident enough to build one myself yet. So. I might have to have a friend or somebody come over and dig me out a little area with their backhoe. And uh, I'm gonna have to start doing some research on how to build one. I have a ton of bricks. So if I could build one out of bricks, that would be awesome. If any of you viewers watching have any of ideas of something that's cheap 
and easy to build. I'm looking for input, so please give me some input on root cellars.